Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So guys, today we will do something amazing. So yeah guys, today we'll try to make a sensor network using ESP now with ESP32 development boards. So we will scatter sensors with ESP32 in an area and all the data from all the sensors will be sent to parent ESP32 forming a network of sensors and parent ESP32 can broadcast the data using web server. So in short multiple sensors with ESP can form a network and we can read all the data at once. So guys without wasting any more further time let's do this. <laughs> Hi guys, this video is sponsored by PCBGoGo.com, the manufacturer of good quality professional PCBs. And guys, if you need a faster yet affordable PCB manufacturing, then PCBGoGo is the right choice. PCBGoGo specializes in quick turn, small batch PCB prototyping and turnkey assembling. And PCB build time with PCBGoGo is less compared to other manufacturers. Normally the delivery time would be 3 to 5 days and for a 2 layer PCB it would be reduced to 24 hours. And you can get a 2 layer PCB for $5 from PCBGoGo.com. And now you can get $50 gift coupon from PCBGoGo.com for PCB prototyping and PCB assembly service. The link to register and to get $50 coupon is in description. So guys register yourself today and get $50 coupon to fulfill your PCB needs. So guys today we will be creating a sensor network between multiple ESP32s and we will use ESP now communication protocol to send data from one ESP to other. So guys basically I will use two ESP32s with sensors to send the data and one ESP32 as an parent which will receive the data and display it to us. So guys in simple words the parent or main ESP32 will work as an access point for child ESP32 with sensors and at the same time it can work as a web server as well so that we can access the data through the web server and this whole communication will be done using ESP now protocol. So guys before we jump into the actual stuff please make sure that you have following things. So guys we need 3 ESP32 boards for this project and 2 DST temperature and humidity sensors as well. Now guys we still need some preparation to do. So first I will assume that you have installed ESP32 boards in your Arduino IDE. And if it is not the case please do that. Then you need to install a few libraries as well. The first is DST sensor library to reach temperature data. Then Adafruit unified sensor library we have to install. After that we have to install ESP async web server library for web server. Then we need to install async TCP library as well. And for the JSON response we need Arduino underscore JSON library that is basically JSON library for Arduino you have to install that as well. So guys we are pretty much done with the installation of libraries. Now there is one more thing we need to do. So we need parent or main ESP32 boards MAC address so that child ESP32 with sensors can identify the destination where they have to send the data. And to get the MAC address of parent ESP32, you need to download the sample code from video description and upload that sample code to your ESP board. And in your serial monitor, you will get the MAC address. So guys, copy the MAC address and save it somewhere. Now we can start with the child ESP32 boards. We have to connect DST sensors to pin D4 on ESP32. 
then you can download the code from video description then in code insert the receiver's mac address which we retrieved earlier and please make sure that both boards should have unique board id so for child board 1 give id 1 and for child board 2 give board id 2 and then upload the code to both child esp32 boards now talking about parent esp32 board so download that code from video description as well and guys this code receives data from both child esp32 boards using access point and it further creates a web server to display the data on a web server so guys enter your wi-fi credentials in the code and then upload the code to your parent esp32 board and from serial monitor you can get the ip of web server page copy that particular ip and open that in your browser but make sure that you are connected to the same network and if everything is fine you'll be able to see the humidity and temperature values from both the board in your web browser and if everything is working perfectly you can create PCBs for these and for your reference I am using homemade PCBs but you can go to pcbgogo.com website and order your professional PCBs for this in no time so guys this is how you can make your own sensor network using ESP now you can modify code and schematics and you can add as many as ESP32 you want and you got your own sensor network and even you can connect the parent ESP32 to the internet and you can take your sensor network online so that is how a IoT sensor network is gonna work but that is just an idea I will leave you to it so yeah guys let me know your thoughts about this in comment section but for now guys that's it for today I hope you like this video if you do hit like give me a share and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in another video so till then stay safe and keep exploring